I've heard a lot that you can work independently in cybersecurity without having a certification or degree, but I'm not able to find a straightforward way. So please talk about working independently in cybersecurity. Thanks a lot. You guys are doing great work for the community. Right. So uh, when, when it comes down to, um, to cybersecurity and working independently, of course, the, the additional piece of information there is the ability to work without a certification or degree. I think that probably the best way to, to get some experience or to start working would be to actually get started with bug bounties and security research primarily because uh, there is no barrier to entry in regards to getting started. Uh, you don't need a certification to, to actually enter a program. Uh, you can essentially just get started and work your way and build up your experience that way. And then of course you can start getting certifications. Now, the other thing that I want to point out and rightfully so is that you don't need a certificate to become a security researcher or to work independently in cybersecurity. And, and the reason I say this is because if, if, you're, if you're really not focused on getting employed or working for a particular company, then, and you're focused on bug bounties, then you really don't need a cybersecurity certification in that certifications are excellent when it comes down to learning because you can actually learn quite a lot in a very short time and you're incentivized to do so because at the end of that, you actually get the certification and in regards to companies, certificates are, uh, are essentially set up to set up uh, or establish a, a baseline for employee performance to ensure that, the, uh, that you know, this particular individual is skilled enough to actually join us. And of course, it adds another layer of, con uh, of, um, uh, of accountability. And uh, you know, employers, um, when, when they look out for you know, cybersecurity certificates or pen testing certificates, they're, typic uh, they're, they're typically just looking for a guarantee or a way to ensure that you're skilled enough. So I just wanted to clarify that. So in regards to working independently, I think bug bounty is a great way of getting started, building up your experience. And then once you have experience, you can then start, you know, uh, getting these certificates and stuff like that. And of course, you have the additional option of working as a freelancer and you know, starting uh, to offer your services and therefore building your uh, experience and reputation. That's as far as I can, uh, I, I, I can say, you know, without any degree or certifications. Did you have anything to That's add on right. that? Yeah, so, so uh, you don't actually need anything to start as a security researcher or bug bounty hunter. You don't need any certificate. And I would actually go for that. The fact that you don't need a certificate doesn't actually mean that it's going to be easy because it's probably going to be very hard right now since a lot of people are doing bug bounties since there's very low barrier to entry uh, because you don't need a certification. That actually means that you'll have to put in maybe 10 times as much work uh, than someone who's getting contracts on a daily basis via penetration tests. But if you put in the work... And if you uh, do report uh, valid submissions and if you start getting paid, you do not necessarily have to get certifications afterwards, but you'll probably have to put, you will have something that you can put on your resume, such as uh, found bugs in this program. Uh, maybe you're gonna appear on their hall of fame and all that stuff. And then it's going to be much easier for you to get the freelance contracts without even having to have uh, any certification. You might require a certification um, if the employer asks for that or if you're working in or if you're actually looking forward to work in a job that's a governmental job and it requires some sort of a precise certification. And there, there are jobs that actually require certification, but I think that in most cases, if you can show what, if you can show your skills, uh, the skills were actually going to speak for you. Certificates like the OSCP are, are, you know, excellent in, in of course, leveling up your skills. If you're looking at certifications as, as just, uh, you know, documents to get jobs, then you're looking at the glass half, half empty or half full, right? And you should be looking at certifications as a legitimate way of, uh, you know, leveling up your skills and focusing on, the, on improving your skill level. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course, Recon in Cybersecurity. 
and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below.